The wheelchair user keeps pressing the wheelchair bell. The woman takes some cutlery and puts it in the microwave. And the woman leaves with the wheelchair user. And she starts screaming for help. The girl appears and asks what happened. The boy appears and says that nothing happens to the useless wheelchair user. The woman says the girl's mother activated the microwave again. The girl says she will solve it. The boy says he knows the woman and knows she is planning something. And he says she will never stop working for them. And the woman leaves with the wheelchair user. The door has a padlock, and he plans to open it with metal. She opens the door and quickly leaves with the wheelchair user. The woman says she knows what to do, so they don't get caught. She ties a rope to the wheelchair. Then she ties the rope to the car. At that moment, the car starts to move. But before she pulls the wheelchair, the boy cuts her with a machete and asks what he is doing. And he tells them to go back inside the house. The boy says that he is fed up with his useless mother-in-law, and the woman has nothing she can do, as the mother-in-law is leaving little by little. And she asks if she will join him or her mother-in-law. And if she is on his side, she will have support. And the woman says yes. He says come in then. The boy is in the bathroom. He takes the cup and puts urine inside. He leaves it on the dining table. The boy goes to the refrigerator. He picks up something and takes it to the table. The boy puts a knife in the pot. When they arrive, the boy says he made a snack for his mother-in-law. The girl thanks her husband. He asks if she didn't brush her teeth, and says that she could only be the daughter of this useless woman. She apologizes, and says she will go now. The boy asks if he has already given the old woman her medicine. The boy says that she knows she has time for this and says to go ahead. And the boy tries to give his urine to his mother-in-law. He says that since he doesn't want it, he will give the food. She starts to press the bell. He takes the bell away. He tries to force her to eat. The mother-in-law doesn't open her mouth and refuses to eat. The boy tries to force it. The girl arrives. He says he was giving food to his mother-in-law. 
She says she already brushed her teeth. He says he then kisses her. The mother-in-law drops the food. The girl is happy and says that her mother moved her hand. The boy leaves there irritated. The woman tells the girl that what her husband does is not right. The girl says he is the father of her son, and he has nowhere to stay. The woman says to stay at her mother's house. The girl says she doesn't want to do anything, because she doesn't want to be a single mother. The woman says that the boy just wants to live off the girl. And he comments that he's sure the girl can find something better for herself. The boy is quite angry about what happened. And he says he's going to make it look like it was an accident. The boy tells everyone to take a walk. And he tells his mother-in-law that she will go once and for all. And he insults his mother-in-law. The girl appears and says that she will not accept him treating her mother like that. He asks what she wants. The girl says he owes him respect, and she doesn't need him for anything, and thanks to her mother she has a place to stay. The boy says she will regret it. But at that moment, the car reverses and runs over the boy. The girl says she gives the food, and says she will repay what her mother did for her. The woman says it was the best decision the girl made. And she asks if the boy ate. The girl says she will then look for something to give him. The woman says she has this here, he prepared it himself. The girl returns what he tried to do to his own mother-in-law. The two laugh at the situation.